Hi. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Linda. I'm Mary. Linda asked us was we're ready and um, who did who always said this? Was it mom or daddy? Ready is Miss Hetty and she died ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready. <laughs> So uh, we are making something, and Mary did such a great job yesterday making her dress, and um, y'all may think that I'm a slacker this morning because yeah. I'm just making some fresh corn. Hey, this ask fresh corn much, is good. Ask how much dressing we had left after when we all went to bed. How much did you have left? None. Zero. Not a bite. <laughs> and see, you were trying to get me to take some. <laughs> I know it was delicious. We I know ate it was. all that between lunch and supper. We, had, we eat that whole container of of course, that was Linda and her two kids, and Sh and Carla and Chuck and myself. That's but who still, we did. that was a lot of yeah. dressing too. Yeah. So um, we're going to be. If um, we did make this one time, it's been a while ago, um, but I'm going to make this uh, fresh corn today, and um, I do mine maybe a little different than uh, some of you may do, because um, I use fresh corn and I also use this um, pick sweet. It's a frozen corn that comes That's in a good. roll. That's good corn. It's really, really yeah. good corn. And it it's, of course, it's in the freezer section. This corn here, uh, Mike wrapped it and put it in the freezer. I went to two or three places the other day, and there was only they only had this at one place. And I made the mistake of not getting it there. So Mike took this out of the freezer. Our neighbor brought this to us. And oh, this really? is white oh. sweet corn from Colorado. So it's so definitely thanks fresh. thanks to um, yeah. Robert and... Uh, Chanda for bringing us this corn. So um, he just wrapped it in individual pieces. So we're going to just cut this off the cob real quick. And um, what you want to do is you don't want to just cut down to the cob at one time. You want to take a small layer and then go all the way around. And then you're going to go back and take another layer. And we'll try to show y'all and Mary. Um, I, have I to hope stand both up. of us are, are, I are have to stand careful up. with this knife. <laughs> I've already burnt myself twice this morning. Oh, it brings back memories uh, uh, whenever Aunt Elsie, I mean, uh, Ma and all her daughters and all of us would get together and do this at the farm. Remember it's that? It's a messy job. It is, but we sat out under the tree outside, remember? Yeah, we did. Mary, um, you are you know you can stand up while you're doing this. You can dance a jig while you're doing it if you want to. <laughs> I can't sit down. I can't just reach be, it. Just be careful with the knife. Well, that's don't. why I'm standing up. Are you talking about cutting corn or shucking corn? We shucked the corn outside. Yeah. Yeah, we did this in the kitchen. Yeah. I uh, shucked the corn. You want me to go ahead and... and uh, yeah. And, did and you go around twice? Use? No, I didn't. Okay. I don't use it. Do you want me I to do. go around twice? I do. I, I go around twice now. If you took it all off the first time, you well, don't have to. But well, I do mine in two layers. Okay. Well, I probably come as close because I'm um, closer than you did. But there's a few places that I didn't cut enough. And I'm just, for our members, I'm just doing a half a batch. On, the, on our member page on the recipe, I put eight ears of corn and two rolls of the frozen corn. But I'm doing a half a batch here because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to have a whole bunch left. So I've gone around twice and then you take... You want me to put it here or put it on the, over um, here? You can put know. it there. Yeah, we're just going to throw that away. Um, and then you take the back of your knife and you go around from the top to the bottom and you scrape it. And you're getting all that good milk juice out of there. And you want that in your corn. Yep. Because that's really, really good flavor. I think I've heard some people say they even boil the cobs and oh, use really? that. Well, I've never done that. I hadn't either. But uh, that's where all your cream is. Yeah. And you definitely want that good stuff on there. Did you shuck this corn? No, I did not. This was... Um, um, I was going to say, I didn't sure shuck did. it. I think Mike shucked it. He sure got all the silk out of it. Mike is one that shucked it, but I usually buy the corn shucked like this in a package. Yeah. And um, in a certain time of the year, you can get a Lathy sweet corn, which comes from a Lathy, Kansas, and that corn is good. But yeah. I've never had this. I'm anxious to try it. Uh, Robert said it was really good corn. Yeah. He brought all the neighbors some back. Sure was nice of them. Yeah, it was nice. They usually always bring us something back when they go to college. But how is it that I'm getting more juice than me? Yes. 
Is it just, I don't know. Maybe you're scraping harder, Mary. <laughs> I probably am. Trying That's what to, you're, you're supposed to do. you trying to show me off? No, no, but I was just... Well, we, oh, well, we I scrape what, mine. I think what it is, um, is um, this had a little bit of... What was frozen had a little bit of mine water. had a little water in okay. it. it I think been. that's what it is. Okay, yeah, you you shucked yours pretty. You creamed yours good. Now, just like anything else, it takes a little time to cook this corn, but I promise you, it is worth it when you get it done. You're gonna you're gonna know that it's fresh corn and not something that came out of a can. This is my favorite. Yeah, it is your favorite. Well, Linda, where do you want me to put this? I don't want... Um, we're going to uh, probably bring the skillet over here. and okay. uh, It may be hot, Linda, so I may need a pot holder to set it on. Yeah, in that drawer at the back. You want the pan brought over here? Yes. Okay. And then you can lift up the mat and use your bench scraper there. And So it's okay for me to just go ahead and put yeah. it in here. And that is some good cream corn. Now this won't make a huge bowl, yeah. but it, it'll make several servings. I hope that I, I, I think I got all the juice out of mine. I'll I'll take your pad. Okay. Yeah, be sure not to put the knives in the dishwasher, yeah. Mary, because I'll definitely reach in yeah. there. And uh, I guess I accidentally got one in the dishwasher the other day, a small one. Did oh, you? I need one of those knives, Mary, to open this corn, please. Forgot. So what I'm going to do with this, thank you, I'm just going to take the um, knife and just, now this may squirt on you. you got to be careful because this is defrosted. Yeah. And then I'm just going to, and I always wipe off my bag so I make sure that yeah. I'm not getting nothing in it. In yeah. it. Now you can eat, the, don't that smell good? Mm -hmm. You can eat this corn just um, put it down, I'll throw it without um, uh, adding the fresh corn to it, but it really does make it better if you add the fresh corn to it. Oops. Here, I got a wet one here. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Look now we're going to move over to the stove. And then stove. I'll throw that away. You go ahead and take that over there. Get my burner on here. And I kind of preheated the skillet just a bit. Um, this titanium cookware, when it gets hot, it stays hot, but um, it I've learned that you it works better, Mary. Uh, have you too? That if you preheat it, yes, it does. So I'm but you don't want to turn it on high. I've, I've learned no, no, you that. don't want to turn it on high. But I'm just going to kind of mix this up together here, and then I'm going to add some water. Now, um, for those of you who are going to say, and, and y'all may not say it, and I may be, I may be um, um, jumping the gun a little bit here, but. My opinion and y'all's may differ from mine, and if it does, that's okay because yeah. you know we're all adults and we can have different opinions and still like each other, right? <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> so we I use do. water, and um, for some of you who might think, "Why don't you put broth in it? It's going to change the taste to it." That's right. I love the taste of sweet corn, and if you put something else in here. It's not going to be, it's not going to taste like real corn. I've got about a cup and a three-fourths here, but I'm only going to add a little bit at a time. I'm going to get this cooking. Probably going to add, oh, I don't know, maybe a fourth a cup. And I'm going to get it cooking. Another thing about fresh corn or any corn, you don't ever want to salt it until it's done. Right. Corn on the cob, any kind of corn you're cook cooking, if you do, it's going to be tough. And for those of you who know me, y'all know I love salt. <laughs> this is one vegetable that I can eat 
without a grain of salt in it exactly. because it's sweet. it just it's has sweet. the best yeah. taste to it. Yeah. Now, another thing with your seasonings, because I'm not putting salt or pepper in it, I'm going to save the butter till it gets done. And um, oh, I know what I'm just going to use instead of that. I'm going to use this here. Okay. I use this to butter my muffin pan or to grease my muffin pans. And I'm going to, I'm going to pour. That's melted butter. This is uh, melted bacon grease. Bacon grease. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to pour probably about a tablespoon in here. All that good stuff is in the bottom, but I'm going to try not to get that in there just so it doesn't have all those little flakes in it. You could add more if you want, but this is just going to give it some seasoning. And we're going to start this cook and start it, come come to a boil. I've got it on pretty high, and once it comes to a boil, we'll turn it down. And then you're just going to cook it down. And you're going to keep adding water a little bit at a time until it gets done. And I probably nor usually probably cook this about 20 minutes. How it doesn't long, take long. How long do you cook it? Uh, you well, probably don't cook it that long, do you? <laughs> no, no. I do. <laughs> I cook mine in the oven, so that's, um, or I, I say that, I I do both. No, I don't cook it that long because the corn is almost done. Now, well, see the difference. You put the fresh corn in there with the other. Yeah. On the rounds, all I do is kind of heat it, you know, get it good and hot. Well, the rounds are, are they are because that they already done. cooked. That's yeah. what I thought. So um, you don't have to cook it that long. So this I am going to yes. cook about 20 minutes. Sister Jean Holland cooked her corn. Is that right? She didn't add the frozen, but she cooked her corn like this. Is that right? Um, Molly so did too. Did she? Yeah. Okay. I remember Molly little little cooking water her, in there. her corn. Uh, and, she, and she cooked it a long time. I, honestly, but Ma was, that's what she did everything. She, she cooked it slow. slow. Yeah. She cooked it slow and a long time. And it was but, so yes, good. But yeah. that's, I ain't, I remember Ma doing that. Now, our that. mama, because, she didn't do nothing slow. See, that's, I guess I take after my mama because I speed things up, but Ma Lee didn't. No, she, she didn't. She was slow. Ma would, um, if she had five people there or if she had 45 people there she started her usually her protein cooking first whatever whatever was going to take the longest she started cooking that first see it's already coming up to a boil yeah. and once it it's boiling all over I'm going to turn it down and put the lid on it for a few minutes and then just keep stirring it but um Molly in my opinion, I don't think there's ever been a better cook than Molly. No, Do you? No, she, no, and I mean, she was always in the kitchen. Always. Yeah. That's my memory of Ma, mostly, is standing beside her in the stove, I, at, in the kitchen. I got to stay in the kitchen more than the other cousins. You did, too, but we was the oldest. Yeah. We was the oldest of the cousins, and we didn't, they weren't even no girl cousins for yeah, a long we were the time. Only, we were the only Donna, girls for a long time. Wasn't Donna the next one? I think Donna was the first. Is Donna person. older than Nancy? She may be. She may because Brian was born first. Yeah, yeah. I think Donna was okay. the first. I think Donna was the first cousin. Okay, so you can see cousin. that it's bubbling, and I'm gonna turn it down to probably between a three and a uh, the medium. And Linda, if you can, you hand me that lid there, please. Or Mary, one of y'all. Thank you. Now you don't want this to scorch, so you do you do need to tend it uh, while it's cooking because that liquid will cook out of it. So you, yes. that's why you need to keep adding liquid to it. And and when I said that Molly is probably the best cook, we had some fabulous yes, cooks in did. our candy in our family. I, I'm going to say Aunt Faye would be second. Yeah, I me too. Aunt Elsie was a great cook. Right. Our mama was a great cook. Uh, mama was. She done so many different things. Right. She used to say she's a jack of all trades yeah. and a master of none. <laughs> yeah. She done so many different things. And we I mean, she's the one who taught us how to cook. But of course we picked up but things. She sewed too. while we cooked. Yeah. She done so many other things. Cooking wasn't her main, yeah, she, main thing she like she uh, done Aunt Elsie and Aunt Faye. A Aunt lot Elsie, of did she cook for the public? Because she had the biggest kitchen I've ever seen. Even nowadays, like if you her yeah. kitchen was huge. Yeah, yeah. it is. She it, did. It is. She uh, well, her and Uncle JB they they paid for half that church from selling. Did they sell dumplings? They sold dumplings. They made cornbread. They made biscuits. People bought Aunt Elsie's they, food. Yeah. I mean, you go in Nacogdoches today, and anybody that's that's 
that's not a youngster, they're going to know Elsie Ward Bit and J.B. Ward. I mean, just a plain biscuit she would sell to all yeah. uh, all over Nacogdoches. He would go in businesses, and he would sell yeah. out probably before he could ever even yeah. turn every, around because people morning. were used to her cooking. Yeah. And Aunt Elsie, um, and we may have told this before too, but when they lived on Taylor Avenue, I guess we've been talking about Aunt Elsie we a lot this week. We have, haven't um, we? They um, lived down there before that flood. And was the flood, I, I get the, the date mixed up. It was in the 70s, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, and Probably so. We moved in 64. We still lived in Mississippi. I got married in 68. Okay. No, I got married in 67. I should have looked this up. But, um, you know, like I said, we never know what we're going to talk about. But um, she would, you know, Nacogdoches is a college town. When we were kids, it was a college. It's a university now. But SFA, for those of you who don't know, Stephen F. Austin. I don't know how many times that she would invite kids to eat, boys yeah. to come and eat yeah. at her house. Right. That she didn't even know. I think, I think that uh, flood, I think it happened before I got married. Well, but I may be wrong. You, you I may be, be wrong. right, Mary. You I could may be, be right. Wrong. I was just thinking that it was in the 70s. It might have been the early 70s. It could have been. But um, Aunt Elsie would always tell, I'm thinking about these guys that knocked on her door for something one day. I don't know if they had car trouble or if they needed to use the phone or yeah. what, but they knocked on her door. And uh, I don't know if they said something about something smelling good yeah. or not. And she told them, she said, y'all are welcome to come in and eat. We don't have much, but we've got plenty of what yeah. we got. Yeah. And they came in and ate, yeah. ate with her. Yeah. And know. she was just like that, yeah. you know. All of our aunts and uncles right. were, it, you know, welcome you into their home anytime. No questions right. asked. But fed well, a many, a many, a many people. Mama did too. Yeah. One time we went to visit Aunt Elsie whenever um, Carla, she was... I don't know how old she was. And Carla, you may remember, uh, and Elsie, and they were having a, what do you call a quilting bee at her house. Yeah. And there was like three or four of the women from the church, they was quilting uh, a quilt, and y'all was playing underneath the quilt. <laughs> y'all was running in and out, <laughs> Carla was. And Elsie's house was so cool. Yeah. She had a... Uh, she it was hot as Moses, though. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hot. no air conditioners or anything <laughs> like that. So we got a ways to go before we cook this down. Linda, tell them about um, the corn. Um, you you can't oh, show that. It's a it's a song on TikTok. <laughs> this little boy, he was talking about corn, and um, I'm not gonna sing it because it's embarrassing. But it's just funny. It's it's corn. It's got the juice. <laughs> I can tell you all about it. Anyways, it's hilarious. So if you're on TikTok, look up the corn song. It's funny. <laughs> this is Mike's favorite vegetables. Is corn. it? He is loves it? corn. He always I'm, has. I've never really been a corn fan. I really never have. But little Linda, that's her one of her favorites. She loves his cream corn. But I've never have been a. I just I don't know why. I love corn. I just I, never. Edward have been loves that. cream corn. Yeah. I think I think Debbie prefers whole kernel, but Edward loves cream corn. And of course, we always had fresh corn growing up because Pinky Bar raised it. I like the cream corn better than I do. The, I do too. The, 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 the whole, whole kernel. kernel. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. So uh, yesterday afternoon, you know, I had to run and get those gift cards. Mm -hmm. um, so I went over to um, Five D Cattle. It's called Five D Cattle Company. I think that's the name of it. Have y'all ever been there? It's in I Avenger. Haven't. I haven't. It's never about been twenty there. miles from here. It's a steakhouse. Um, Linda, uh, you're gonna want to go over there. <laughs> I, I think that I have when I was in 2018. Okay. Um, we have never eaten there before, and I see piece, you know people talk about it mm -hmm. all the time. My liter and I splurged. I really did splurge. I'm not a steak person. I didn't feel like that it would benefit me to pay the price for that the steak and it it wasn't that outrageous but it was more than what yeah. we're normally paying for a meal he said it was the best ribeye he has ever eaten so y'all did eat at the restaurant i brought or, it home oh you brought it home yeah okay. i got it to go is it it is a restaurant though, yeah right and they have an outdoor seating area i think it's got a top on it but it's open it's kind of like I open like air steak. i like steak and it was a but they only open at 4 30. they're closed oh, okay. sunday and monday and they're open tuesday to uh saturday and they don't open till 4 30. and there's a little trading post right across the street it mm -hmm. looks like a shotgun house does it uh, and i guess they open because people are yeah. are eating uh -huh. and they have it open in yeah. the evening 
for people. To, I'd love to go in yeah, there. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, I'd love to go. And there. something else they have that I didn't know. It shows you how long it's been since I've been 20 miles from my house in the other direction. Um, they have a new RV park there, hmm. right downtown. It was really yeah. cool. They put a lot of work in it. You know, Lake of the Pines yeah, and all the yeah. stuff around here, Cattle yeah. Lake, and uh, and there was. Um, it looked like it was a building. Well, this was all new or fairly new. It, I think it was. It looked like maybe low enough to where people could go in if there was bad weather. Oh, okay. it was a like a building. Okay. I, I'm assuming that's what it was. Yeah. I'm not. I don't know for sure. But did you say the restaurant was new? No, the restaurant's oh, okay. been there for a long time. It's five D. It's a five the number D like David. Uh, cattle. I think it's cattle company. But they were super super nice in there. Very very nice people, and. Um, so I told Mike, I said, okay, so we're splurging, so I'm going to get a dessert, and uh, what do you want? So they had, like, several different ones to choose from. They had funnel cakes, they had a brownie with ice cream, and they had, I think, cheesecake, but they had cobblers. Okay. And the dessert was for two. And I was really pleasantly surprised. It was a lot of cobbler. Hmm. Mike left it up to me which one we got, so, of course, I got apple. Um, and it was really good. Okay. I got the um, country fried chicken and um, it was cooked very nice it was it was um, butterfly chicken it was two pieces so it was very thin and it was battered um, took cooked very tender I didn't like the taste of the marinade and y'all know that I'm just yeah. very picky about certain tastes yeah um, so I wouldn't order that again, but not because it wasn't good. It just, the taste just wasn't what right. I thought it was going to be. Right. But um, um, it was a lot of food. And then I got a Caesar salad, a baked potato. You get all the fixings. And I think mine was like 16-something for two sides yeah. and the two big pieces of chicken. I love their rolls. I don't know what kind they were, but they were real good. And... Um, well, Carl and I went to Cotton Patch last night. Yeah, she told me y'all to were going eat. down there. And um, the, bless her heart, it was a it was a new waiter, as a young young boy, and he was just um, he was sweet, nice, but he didn't know anything about the menu. Every question we asked, he didn't know, and uh -huh. he and he even said that. He even said, "I sorry, we didn't know. You know, I don't know," and so. We sat there for a very long time, and we still didn't get our food. So Carl said, I think I'll go ask. Maybe he forgot to turn the order in since he was new. And so sure enough, we went up there, and, and uh, the manager came over to us and said, uh, apologize for it taking so long, us getting our food. Yeah. And she said, um, uh, the meal will be on us. Well, so, that was really nice. That was really nice. It was in Henderson, so she said that uh, they'd take care of the meal and ask us if we wanted dessert. It was on the that house. Was very that nice. was very nice. That the was very nice. The cotton patch in Henderson was really nice. It was. And then before we checked out, um, she gave us a coupon to get one meal free next time we come. Well, so that was really nice. she really went nice. overboard, yeah, didn't she? Yeah, she did. So that was a real nice place to go to is Cotton Patch. But y'all were nice to them. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Yeah, that's what she said. She apologized for... Um, for uh, you know, being for us not being aggravated at them. Yeah. And that's what she said. Well, thank you for not being aggravated. The, Hello. Um, the um the reason the phone's ringing i'm getting a plants delivered today and it's supposed to be between 12 and 1 and so i don't they may be calling to tell us that uh, it what specifically what time to come but anyway sorry about the phone ringing <laughs> um when they when a delivery gives me a time like yeah. like a, either the a.m. or the yeah. p.m. I always try to narrow them down like yeah. no we can't tell you that and if they're supposed to deliver it at five between one and five they usually pull up about five till that, five that's usually <laughs> the way it is I don't we're care out of the way yeah I don't care if it is five because today is really pushing it to to have it um, delivered between twelve and one and honestly when uh, when they asked me. I, would, I got the dates mixed up. I was thinking I was going to be at my house on the day Cooking. of the delivery. Yeah. And that's I'm why sorry. I said, that's okay. No, it was my mistake. But anyway, uh, Linda was, um, little Linda was telling us this morning 
Braden, you know how Braden is. He's so comical about everything he says. What did he say, Linda? What did he do? Braden had a dentist appointment yesterday, or not a dentist, an do eye doctor appointment yesterday. And uh, he had on his shorts like he always wears. But he comes out and he's got one dressy sock, like this plaid, what you would wear with like a suit. And then he's got another sock that's the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I was like, son, what are you doing? <laughs> he said, I'm going business casual. <laughs> Brayden's so funny. Brayden is. He cracks me up. He is hilarious. And I'm surprised. He did, did he have different shoes on? He had the same shoes on, but I think that his dog, his new puppy, chewed up one of it, and he doesn't want to tell me. Oh. So that's the only reason I can think of he'd be wearing matching shoes, because his shoes never match. <laughs> I know. He loves to wear a different pair of shit, tennis shoes. So. One, a, one, a different kind on both foot, both feet. I think he just likes to be different. You know what he did he with does. your dressing yesterday? What? He, we have some Chipotle sauce. It's uh -huh. Taco Bell, but you buy it at Walmart. Yeah. And um, he was like, why do we always have to eat Mexican or Italian? Or why can't we mix it, mix the two? So he put Chipotle seasoning on your on the dressing. dressing. Oh, oh, my goodness. And loved it. <laughs> oh, he my loved goodness. It. Like, well, That's well, hilarious. Yeah. That is so funny. You know what I like with corn? Whole kernel corn, though, not cream corn. What? And that's mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes oh. and corn mixed up? Yeah. It's so good. That's how you like yours. Yep. I I don't I don't care for whole kernel that much. I will eat it, but not much. Well, Mike likes succotash, and I think that's uh, something maybe that they had where he grew mm -hmm. up in Ohio. And I mean, I know what succotash is. I bought it and I made it, but um, uh, that was something that he always liked to. Uh, why don't you ever fix succotash? And if for those of you who don't know what succotash is, it's whole kernel corn. Uh, cooked with uh, green lima beans, yeah. and he really loves yeah. that. Yeah. And I love lima beans. Yeah. I'm not real big on mixing my food. <laughs> no. And Linda's not either. That's why it surprises yeah. me. Which I knew she put her corn with her with her potatoes, but Linda don't. She don't even. Both Lindas don't even like it touching. No, right. yeah. One food at the time no. is what they eat. Do you eat one thing at a time? I don't, but. Um, I have before, but I don't normally do that. But um, uh, Daddy, of course, you know, y'all didn't know Daddy, but um, our Daddy loved syrup. Yeah, he did. And he buy it in the half-gallon jars or either in the cans, the ribbon cane syrup, which ribbon cane syrup is kind of like, uh, like sorghum. Mm -hmm. It's a very rich syrup, very, very sweet and very rich. He poured syrup on everything, yeah, on his did. savory foods he yeah, would put syrup I, on. I remember that, but I, I've never done that. That reminds no, me, me the Henderson <laughs> Syrup Festival is uh, is coming next, up. Yes, this weekend or next week. Maybe no. next weekend this is a syrup festival. You know, we went last yeah, year. Yeah, we did go last year. Chuck asked me, was we going this year? And I said, it's, it's not in the plans. I don't know. So. We have got so many things we want yeah. to do. We want to go to Marshall Festival of Lights and... Um, Marshall is just 20 miles, 15 miles up the road from me, um, and uh, it's an old town. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to give them the address for our meet and greet. Oh, do we have that? Where's my Probably phone? Does. It's What's the, the address? I think it's five one. Is it five one? Or it's oh Don't five? Confuse people. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know the numbers, but I don't know how what order they come in. You know what I read? What? The largest Christmas store in Texas is outside of Dallas, either in Dallas or outside of oh, Dallas. Oh, really? It's mm. humongous. Oh, I'd like no. to know that. That yeah, would be <laughs> fun. Uh, that would be really fun. It's starting to cook down. Y'all can tell that a lot of the liquid has already cooked out of it. And I might have added maybe just a tad more than I normally Hi, do at the beginning. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hey, Mark. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get a text every time he comes on. Oh, do you? <laughs> um, not a text, but a notification. Okay. Um, the address where our meet and greet is going to be is 5015 U.S. 75 in Denison, Texas. And that's at the Hilton Garden Inn, Denison slash Sherman, Texas. And we'll be there from 930 to 12, Friday the 11th. The because um, we're having the we're having the uh, we're speak got a speaking engagement at the First Baptist Church in Sherman on um, tomorrow night. Yes, at the church. 
But that's so, a closed event. But that's a closed event because this is a ladies' ministry, and they've been attending this uh, ministry uh, conference all week. And, it, and you know, it wouldn't be fair for outsiders to come in whenever uh, this is especially for the ladies at that church. So we're going to do the meet and greet at the hotel on Friday morning from 930 to 12. And we're looking forward to that and also to to being with the ladies at the Sherman Baptist Church. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm looking forward to that so much. Uh, it has to be a nice group of ladies from from all the communication yeah. that we've had with the with the yeah, pastor's she wife. She contacted us back, what, around the first of the year, Carla, or in yeah. early spring? Yeah. Wanted us to come to this, so uh, we're very honored that, right. to be there. We are. And, um, and then we have, there is so much going on around the holidays. Uh, Jefferson has a candle, uh, candlelight tour the first, uh, I think it's the first two weekends in December. I think it is. Uh, in Marshall, you're talking about? No, in Jefferson, in Jefferson. the candlelight okay. tour. Oh, that's right. We don't know yet if we're going to get to make that, but we got the parade. It's, yeah. And, yeah. um. Uh, so if we don't get to make the candlelight tour, maybe we're gonna we can next two, year. We're going to be two old ladies riding on the back of a float. <laughs> That's going to be fun. It is. We're, we're going to have chairs to sit oh, in, right? Hey, I'm bringing two of my rocking chairs so we can be comfortable. I don't want to get vertigo and fall off right. of it. So you can see that. And this skillet is not one to burn things, but you can see that it's definitely it's cooking down. Yeah, it's thickening, thickening up, and probably not going to need. And you know what, Mama? You know what, Mama it. used to do when she cooked that. Do you remember? What? She make a little thickening in it. Oh, when so it would to be, make it thicker. Yeah. Whenever it'd be so so creamy and so juicy, she put a little thickening in it, some little flour and water. She, she probably used. did it to hurry it up cooking. Yeah, that, yep. <laughs> I guarantee that's the reason she did it. <laughs> Mama was a great cook, y'all. Don't let what I've said yeah. this morning about yeah. Ma and Aunt Faye. Um, but she was always that, in a hurry, like but, me. That's where she, I get that from. She didn't waste time no, getting, getting didn't. cooking. She used the pressure cooker a lot. Yeah. Um, when I, we were talking the other day, and I said something about her boiling a hen, I can guarantee she cooked that hen in the pressure cooker. Yeah. And yeah. I ain't talking about a pampered chef when no. she had the old timey one, the kind that I'm terrified of that me blows too. a hole in your ceiling or it did in Pinky Malls. I've never had one blow up on me. Have you? I've used them a lot. When we lived on 322, yeah, um, I bought one at the Goodwill, and I think Mama was with me when I bought it. And this wasn't a big one, but it was a yeah. A, I know, got one like the kind one. of yes. she had. She had more than one. She had a huge one that yeah. you could can in, and then she had the other one. And um, we're in there. <laughs> Mama was so funny. <laughs> And she turns that thing on and starts it, and the whole top blew off. The thing oh, blew, the little no. thing, and she and the she jiggler. was so mad the at little herself. Jiggler. She said, "That's why they got rid of it. It was stopped up. It yeah. was a brand new one, but oh, it, the thing was stopped up." She yeah. said, "And to think that I didn't even check to see if that was stopped up, <laughs> but it was. It wasn't. A, you know, it didn't do any damage or anything, but it scared her. I bet it did too. It's made sure. a lot of noise. Yeah, but more." Yeah. One blew up on Pinky Mall, though. Yeah. I helped clean that mess up. Pinky Mall couldn't hear. She was hard of hearing. Yep. And she sat at her little treadle sewing machine and sewed hours every day. And the way their house was, it was a real small house. You'd come in the front door, and um, they had a little small porch. And you come in, and the first room was the living room. The kitchen and the dining room was to the left. And then their bedroom was right through the living room, and then there was a bathroom, and there was a bedroom on the back of the house. Well, she was in her bedroom, the next room from the kitchen, and just sewing away. Yeah. And yeah. she had that thing on, and it mm -hmm. literally blew a, yeah. a hole in the top I of their house. I cleaned that stove up. And it I was a mess. Yeah. I, I remember helping uh, clean it up. Is she have any Pink, other? And you know what? I don't. I don't think Pinky Ball cleaned it up. I think it's me and Pinky Ball cleaned that up. It probably was. He probably she fussed, kept, didn't he? Yeah, I done most of it. <laughs> I can remember because I, I thought, my goodness, this is a, it's a lot of cleaning to do. Uh, but uh, but Pinky Ball didn't stop sewing. She was in there sewing away on that sewing machine. But she sewed for the public, and she had she had a lot of customers, didn't she? She had a lot of customers. She and, had a lot, of and um, and they wanted their they wanted yeah. their clothes. They wanted yeah. them. Right. I mean, they would she they would have specific information yes. when she was sewing, and um, I think 
Did she charge two dollars a dress, Mary? To I don't make remember. A dress? It sounds about right. I don't remember, but I don't know how. Me knowing how to sew, I don't know how in the world she did it. But her bed was right there by her sewing yeah. machine. She cut those her cloak things out on, on the bed. that bed. On the bed. Yep. On she that did. bed. She would lay all that patterns out and she'd cut it out on the bed. Yep. I don't see how she did it without messing up. Well, she, she because, was a good you know, seamstress. I would want something flat, you know, mm -hmm. to, but she cut them, she cut those clothes out on that bed. And you remember covered belts? Oh, covered yeah. cloth belts? Oh yeah, I've um, done that. You buy a little kit and, um, and of course, I don't even know if you can still buy them or not. And if you can, either. they're probably several dollars. Yeah. But if I've she if she made a belt, was it twenty five cents it she extra. charged? It was extra. extra besides the, the, the dress, <laughs> but I may be probably. wrong on that. Yeah. But um, yeah. and most people wanted the belt to yeah. match their dress. Yeah. She made some yeah. very nice yeah. clothes. Yeah, she did. I, I knew how. To, I learned how to make belts too. Did you in home making? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm, the the best thing that I ever made in my life sewing was a dress in homemaking. Yeah. And it was nice, and I did a great job, but I had a really patient teacher. Mama, uh, Mama she wouldn't help me, and, and that she wasn't trying to be mean, but when I had a project to do at home, I had to do it myself, and I hated it. And Literally Mama didn't want me having hated you. it. But um, this dress that I made in school, I remember the color. It was like a blue-gray. It had three-quarter length sleeves. And these were some, some, in my opinion, some things that it wasn't just a dress. It had cuffs on the sleeve. It had a roll collar. And it had cord in the waist. And it was a, it yeah, was a beautiful was pretty, dress. Was, and I made yeah. it, and I made a good grade yeah, on it. That's good. But I wouldn't I have done it if I hadn't have been in class and yeah. had help with it. Because right, right. that jumper I hated I made. making collars. I hated <laughs> making collars. <laughs> Bless your heart. I'm so sorry. That jumper now, I made uh, during Christmas one year, that was that was a holy terror mess. I remember that material just as well as I'm looking at it. I begged Mom and Mary to help me, and they wouldn't help me. And the reason they wouldn't is because Mama felt like it was my grade. I needed to do it. I know. She I know, was but right. I feel bad. She I was know, right. I know, but, but I still um, felt bad. But I, I said, you know, y'all can sew all you want to. Sewing is not for me. Okay, now we're getting here. Yeah. You can tell it's now. I want yeah. some. I want yeah, it to be want creamy. Some of that. Yeah, you want some of that cream. And I'm that. gonna, I'm gonna get a little spoon and taste, and um, I'm gonna put my butter and a little bit of salt and pepper in it last, but. Um, Mary, you want a taste of it? No, you can taste of it. You, whatever you say is fine with me. It's hot. It's got just a little bit of crunch to it, but that's corn it. does. No, yeah, you know. oh yeah, that's fine. Mm. It's so good. So, so you think it's... It's I think ready it's, I think for it's the, done for the season and your butter. I'm gonna put butter in it. I'm not gonna put the rest of that um, bacon grease bacon grease in it because I've already got some in it. Okay. But I am gonna put this butter in it. Yeah. You don't cook with the butter in there. You yeah. want that butter to kind of flavor it at the end. Yep. I'm gonna actually turn it off. And I'm going to take it off this burner. I hate to even put salt and pepper in it because it's so good like well, it is. Well, don't do it if you don't want to. But I am going to put, I am going to put just a little bit in it. Okay. I think I'm not even going to use that. I think I'm going to use the shakers. That's what you're more accustomed to in it than measuring. That's the way I am at least. Yep. We just started this measuring y'all a couple of years ago. <laughs> we started filming. We started measuring. We're so used to just pouring and dashing and all that till we're trying to learn. It's Shelly that used to call me and, uh, and still does sometimes, but I uh, want to know uh, measurements of how to do something. And I think, oh Lord, Shelly, I don't know how to tell you what me what measurements are because I just throw it together. But I would, you know, I would try to mentally vision way I done it and I'd, I'd get it to her. But. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to put these little corn muffins okay. on here. I don't know if y'all want one of them or not. And they're cold. They're not hot anymore. Can you freeze this corn? 
Um, well, it's already, normally I would say yes, but because this corn has already been free, frozen, I would say no because it's already been frozen. Now, somebody else might say yes and that you can refreeze it after it's been frozen. But you could cook it ahead of time. Like if you're wanting to do some jobs ahead of time before your Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, cook it and just put it, let it cool completely. You never put anything warm in the refrigerator. Um, and cover it and then take it out the next day and, and just heat it up and it yeah, would be that, fine. That so this would, would be yeah. something you could cook ahead of time. Um, let me grab a bowl to, uh, to take this up in. And Linda, we wanted not to forget, to, uh, yesterday we mentioned that someone sent us, took both of us, a bottle of lotion, really nice lotion, and, um, and, the, and the little uh, stockings, the little yes. foot stockings. I guess that's what the worst um, socks or those holes. Anyway, she sent us an email. She heard us say that we didn't know who sent it to us. Well, she sent us an email, and it's Lorraine Winkle. Is that how you say it? It's W E I K E L. Winkle, uh, Winkle, I don't know. Lorraine, I don't know if the E is silent or not. Lorraine, thank you so much for the lotion and the um, hose. We appreciate it so much. And thank you for emailing us and letting us know that it was you, because we did not know, but we appreciate it. So thank you very much. And I didn't want to forget yes, that. Yes, we, so. do, we do appreciate it. I've got my mind on this corner. I know here, you do, Linda. I just, uh, See, that's, ooh, isn't that pretty? that's not, now if you double this, you're going to have twice that much. Yeah. So if you're looking for, that's a big serving. Um, you know, if you're looking for, uh, uh, having a lot of people at your house you do definitely yeah. want to double it that's uh well that's that's quite a bit of corn and i don't know if if y'all want to sample it girls do y'all want to play it out now or y'all going to sample it after Afterwards. okay you want a fork or a spoon mary uh i'll take a spoon please okay also a shout out to carla renee she is getting these spammers just as fast as they come up all right. She's doing good with She's that. Doing a good she? job. <laughs> so all you, yeah, and all you. Seems like we go from some days we have a lot of um, Carla calls them lover boys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, everybody on our page don't want to be your friend. Please quit making extra work for us, because that's what it is. It's yeah, extra work. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Um, Carla, she, she's going to get rid of you fast as you get on there. But did you know, I deleted one the other day, and I banned him, and he's right back on there again. They make different profiles. And well, it's the same picture. Same name, same picture. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't know how they, I don't know how they do it, but anyway. I like my corn over cornbread. That's how I like it. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Now, you tell me if you think it needs salt or anything on it, because I, I, I haven't tasted of it since I sprinkled a little salt on it. No, it, to me it don't. I like the sweetness of it. I it's delicious. Too. It's delicious. Really good. It's real good. Add that to my Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> a lot of people cook corn casseroles for... Uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas, but this is a good alternative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, it's something that you can cook ahead of time and uh, <clears throat> just have it in your freezer or refrigerator. Absolutely love corn cooked this way. So I hope that y'all do too, and I hope that you <clears throat> share our video. And for those of you who plan on coming and seeing us Friday morning, um, um, we will be leaving the hotel at 12 o'clock. No later we have than 12 o'clock. Yeah, we have another engage, engagement at 12, so we will be leaving at 12, if not a few minutes before. Yeah, and this old lady doesn't like driving at night, <laughs> and believe me, I've driven a many a hundred mile at night, but I do not like driving at night anymore because the glare is so bad, it, Yeah, and um, and it's it's really, it's just not safe not to safe. be out on the road yeah. at, at night like that driving, so... Uh, we thank y'all for watching us. Um, we um, we appreciate all of our new uh, friends that are yes, watching and following yes. us. Uh, we did roll over another thousand uh, over, over the evening. So um, we hope that you share our page, this page, the correct page. And 
always, always count your blessings. This is Thanksgiving month, and it's something that um, we we try to be aware and try to make sure that we are thankful every day. But this month, it's it's just yeah, something it's that you just think I about. I started off doing that, uh, having you know on a page on Facebook of being thankful every day. But I just I just on the third day. I just forgot to do it, and then I felt like I just couldn't catch up. So I'm, I, I know the Lord knows I'm thankful. So yes, you are. I'm, you I'm absolutely thankful and are. blessed. But so thank you again for watching us, and um, you'll we, be back Monday. You'll be yeah. Back. I'll be cooking Monday, Monday. and uh, honestly, don't even know what I'm doing yet. But um, <laughs> I have a list. I'm just yeah. just don't know exactly which one of them I'm doing. And then we are we're getting professional pictures taken next mm -hmm. week, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be cold weather next week. Oh, yeah, it is. That's why it's going to be cold Friday. Yep. What I heard, Let, Carla was telling me this morning, the high is going to be in the 60s Friday, and I think it's going to be a lot of wind too. Yeah. Um, so. so we may need to wear a heavy skirt so yeah. we don't worry about our skirts blowing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, we look forward to seeing everybody this coming Friday. Thank y'all again. We love y'all. God bless you. And uh, and again, always count your blessings. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.